Something smells a bit fishy about this. This looks like a job for mad. So for the last couple of months, some YouTubers have been promoting this thing called Mystery Brand. If you don't know what it is, basically, you pay $15 and you get a box in return. You don't know what's in it. It's basically a surprise. It's basically gambling. You don't know what you're gonna get. It could be a phone case, it could be a fidget spinner, or apparently it can be a Lamborghini. Last night, PewDiePie basically called this a scam and he questioned some of the percentages that are given. For example, for the Lamborghini. And if you look at the most expensive items, a Lamborghini for 0.15%, that's sort of a reasonable percentage considering you're only paying $15, right? It doesn't really make any sense. It would still be that sort of a uh, high chance. I know it's high on quotation mark for you to win one of these in crazy expensive items. You can still have a decent chance of winning any of these. So what he's basically saying is that while 0.15% is low in an everyday sense, if you're paying $15, and you're getting a 0.15% chance to win a goddamn Lamborghini, that seems kind of high. And his intuition is spot on. So I, I took the liberty of doing some calculations to see what the consequences are, if it's actually possible to win this goddamn Lamborghini at a 0.15% chance for $15. So let's see. First of all, I need to address something called the gambler's fallacy. This is probably the most misunderstood misunderstanding of all time. So the gambler's fallacy is the mistaken belief that as you continue to attempt something and you fail, the chances of you succeeding per each individual attempt goes up. And that's not true. The, the attempts don't care what you did in the past. Your past attempts do not influence your current odds. But people mistake that as thinking that more attempts does not give you an overall higher chance of success. And it does. The more attempts you make, the more chances you have, you do have greater odds as a whole, just not per each individual attempt. If you don't believe me when I say your overall odds are higher, we'll play a game. We'll each get a die. Our goal is to roll a six. You have to roll it once. I get to roll it 10 times. Is it fair? No, because my odds of getting a six are greater not per each individual roll, but as a whole. What are your odds of getting a six? Well, you roll it once, there's a six on one of the six faces, so your odds are one sixth, or about 17%. What are my odds? Well, instead of thinking about my odds of getting a six, let's think about my odds of not getting a six. What do I have to do to not get a six? I have to roll something other than a six 10 times in a row. What are my odds of rolling something other than a six? Five over six. So my odds of not getting a six in all 10 rolls is five over six to the 10th. So my odds of getting a six, the opposite of that is one minus five over six to the 10th power. That's right about 84%. So you see that since I have more rolls, I have more attempts, I have a greater chance of getting a six, not per each individual roll, but as a whole. Okay, now let's apply these basic calculations to the Lamborghini. The Lamborghini that you have a 0.1519% chance of winning for $15. Okay, so let's say I buy 4,000 tickets. What are the odds that I don't win the Lamborghini? Well, the odds that I win the Lamborghini per attempt is 0.1519%. So the chance that I don't win the Lamborghini per attempt is 100% minus 0.1519%. So I need to do that 4,000 times. Let's see. These are my odds of not winning the Lamborghini. So my odds of winning at least one Lamborghini is one minus one minus 0.001519 to the 4,000th power. And this comes out to be roughly 99.8%. Wow, what a deal. At $15 a ticket, and I bought 4,000 of them, I spent 60 grand and I have a 99.8% chance of winning this Lamborghini, which is worth $2.5 million. 
This is the deal of the century. You can spend 60 grand and have a 99.8% chance at winning a $2.5 million car. Why isn't everyone doing this? This is amazing. No, it's not. It's a scam. Oh, I'm just getting started. This gets much worse. Let's say 50,000 people buy mystery brands. This seems completely reasonable. Everybody's talking about it and the site's been up for a while now. So 50,000 people buying this, it's plausible to me. The probability that in Lamborghinis are one is given by this. This part is called a binomial coefficient. Basically, it's playing the role of how many ways can n selections be made from 50,000 here. That means that the probability that 50 or less Lamborghinis are one is given by this. Just sum all of these up from zero to 50 Lamborghinis one. And that means that the probability that more than 50 people win the Lamborghini is given by this. And what is this you ask? This is roughly equal to 99.901% chance of 50 or more people out of 50,000 winning this $2.5 million Lamborghini. That's gonna be a problem because Lamborghini only made 40 of these cars. And all of this is just talking about that one car, that one prize. There are several prizes listed that are worth obscene amounts of money. And this is just the probability of getting this car given a certain amount of attempts or a certain amount of tickets bought. This is absurd. This is not possible. PewDiePie was 100% right. These probabilities are far too high for this to make sense. You know what the real probability is? It's not 0.1519%. It's zero. You have a 0% chance of winning this car from this scam. Zero. This is a scam. They are taking advantage of people. I hope I convinced you that the probabilities listed on this site are literally impossible. This is a scam, 100%. Do not waste your money. Let's hope the site gets shut down eventually. Sorry for being a little emotionally charged. <laughs> but um, yeah, so I guess that's gonna do it for this video. I'll see you next time. I'm sorry, 93, I even got it tatted on me. 2012, later.